In this video, I'd like to talk about how travel can slow down the perception of time. This past weekend, I made a new friend and we had some great conversations. We spent a good few hours talking about travel, technology, and the future of the world. One of the topics that came up was time and how quickly this past year has gone by. I find this a very interesting topic and that's why I want to share my thoughts on how I believe travel can slow down the perception of time. To keep it simple, I'm just going to refer to the perception of time as time. From my experience, habit and routine tend to speed up time because we create a path that we repeat on a daily basis. Thinking back, I remember while studying at the University of Cape Town for four years, I had a specific routine. Every morning I would get up, I would drive to university, I would park in a similar area, I would walk the same path up to campus, then I would have my lectures for the week, and I would just repeat that for four years. And given we wouldn't be covering the same topics and the same content in the lectures, but generally speaking, over those four years, I had a certain routine that I followed day in, day out, for weeks and months and years. And it definitely felt like those years went by fairly fast. I believe the same applies for anyone that works a routine job, because the same patterns are repeated on a daily, weekly, monthly and yearly basis. And the result of that is that time just seems to go by quicker. If you now compare this to someone that experiences something new on a daily or weekly basis, this is perhaps someone that travels the world and works from different countries, or this could be a reporter that reports from different locations. Or this might even be a person that just likes to try something new on a regular basis. From my experience, while traveling the world and working and experiencing new things, experiencing different cultures, experiencing different challenges, I definitely have felt a difference in terms of how I perceive time. If I now think back to the past 12 months, sure, the year has passed by fairly quickly, but everything that I've experienced has enriched my year and has made it feel more like two, three, five years almost, if I would compare it to a previous year of my life where I was just repeating the same routine every day. The thing is, what I found is that these new experiences don't have to be huge. You don't have to travel the world and work from different countries. It might be something small like taking a new route to your office, maybe trying a new restaurant or a new meal, or possibly making a new friend and spending hours talking about travel, technology and the future of the world. I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts on this concept or if you have experience with this, if you've applied this to your life. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll chat to you soon. Cheers.